Hey everybody, AJ here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to share your Microsoft Team meeting recordings with both internal and external participants. This has been a feature requested for a while now and Microsoft did have a very convoluted process of recording a meeting, saving it up to stream, downloading it to OneDrive and sharing and accessing it from there. But they've recently streamlined this and that's what I'm gonna take you through today. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump straight into this. So you can see here in Microsoft Teams, I'm in our calendar and I have a meeting called how to share externally. And we're just gonna join this meeting. We're not gonna worry about turning on our audio or our video and we're just gonna hit join now. For this example, I'm gonna be running through Adele's profile and I'm gonna have myself join as the external participant. So here I am waiting to join. I'm gonna hit admit. Once I've joined the meeting, you can see that there's both myself as Adele and myself as the external participant in the meeting. What you want to do now is at the top here along your ribbon, you have a few different options. You have your show people, you have your conversation, you have your raise hand and, emo and emoticons. And then in the ellipses, if you select on more actions, you scroll down to where it says start recording. And of course, as the name suggests, this is going to start the recording. A few seconds after you press the button, you get a purple banner that says the meeting recording is about to start. Let everybody in your organization know, let everybody on that meeting know that you are recording the meeting. They'll also get a notification on their phone or on their device, and then you start the meeting. So we've started the recording, and now, you know, in a meeting, you're usually sharing screens, sharing files. So I'm actually just gonna hit the share content option, and we're just gonna share my desktop for now as an example of what we could be looking at. Cool, we're in Teams here. Let's have a look at my calendar. Maybe we're looking at the team sites. It could be something in this page here. Whatever it is, we're just sharing content with the people of that meeting, just to give you an example. Cool, once you're done sharing the content, and the meeting's over, it could be 15, could be 20, could be 30 minutes. Jump back into that meeting, stop sharing, and let's go full screen just so it looks nicer. We're gonna go on the more actions option again. We're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna select stop recording. And this is gonna stop that meeting recording. You'll get a warning saying, are you sure you wanna stop the meeting recording? Cancel if you accidentally press the button or you hit stop recording because the meeting has finished. And what it says now is that the recording is being saved, the recording is being stopped, and then to access the meeting recording, you're gonna find this in your chat history. So the meeting's done and we're gonna hit leave. And I'm gonna show you how you can find that meeting recording and how you can share it with external and internal participants. The two ways you can actually find where that meeting is saved through Teams is, number one is going into your calendar, finding that meeting, so you can see here how to share externally. We open that up, we open that up into full screen, and in our chat option, you can actually see it has our meeting recording right here, where it says meeting, went for one minute, 20 seconds, and it was recorded by Adele. So if we wanted to access this, we can select on the ellipses, and then we can open it in OneDrive, and this will allow us to share it. This will give us a few different ways of sharing it, or we can get a link, and this will let us share it with people internally. So the first way of accessing it is going through your calendar, selecting on that meeting, going full screen, and selecting on your chat files, and then find that meeting recording. Or the second way is simply on the left-hand side, going straight into chat, finding that meeting. As you can see here, I've got a few different meetings. Um, the one we've just done is the top one here of how to share externally. So you're finding the chat, takes you to the exact same spot, then you select on the ellipses, and then you have the options of opening OneDrive or getting a link. So I'll let you know that if you get a link to this meeting, I'll show you what that looks like. I go grab a link, you can copy this link, this URL, and if I paste it somewhere, it gives me a long URL, and this will work for people within my organization. But if you wanted to share this with people externally, what you wanna do is select on the ellipses here, go open in OneDrive, and this is gonna pull you to your OneDrive on the web. You can see here that we're in OneDrive for Business, and this takes you directly to that meeting. So the great thing about this is it shows you the name of what that meeting was. It gives you the time and the date, and it also shows you who it was recorded by and who started the meeting. So you can see here, this is the meeting of how to share externally. It was on the 19th of February, 2021. And this was recorded by Adele and was also organized by Adele. And if we scrub through here, you can see here's the meeting. You can, shoot, you can see the screen sharing. And of course you have the options of sharing in the top left-hand corner. 
So I'm going to X out of this for a second, but if you wanted to share it from here, you can select the share option and you've got a few different options here, but I want to show you a nicer way of doing this. I'm going to press the X button and close out of that meeting recording. And we're going to look at our OneDrive. So you can see here that we're actually in our OneDrive and there's a folder called recordings in my files. I'm going to go back one stage and go to my files directly. And what you'll see here is we have all our OneDrive files, we have our private folder, and then there's a folder called Recordings. The first time you record a meeting in Microsoft Teams, it will automatically create this folder called Recordings, and it will store all of your meeting recordings within here. So you have the one single spot to go and find all the meetings you had, whether you recorded it this week, last week, six weeks ago, a year ago, everything will naturally just save now into your recordings in your OneDrive. So if I open up Recordings here, you can see all the different media recordings that we've made and that are saved to our OneDrive. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and you can see if we look at modified by and we just sort this by newest to oldest, the meeting we just recorded then was the top one right here and if we select on the share option, this is now how we're going to share it with external participants. So you can see here we're going to send a link and here there's actually a drop down with a little world next to it. And if we select in this drop down of anyone with the link can edit, we're going to open that up and look at the different options here. So the option of anyone with this link can edit means that you can actually give this link to anybody, whether they're internal, whether they're external, and they can actually see the content. Now, the caveat here or the warning here is that if this link ends up in the wrong person's hands, they might see sensitive information. So if you're going to use the option of anyone with this link can view the content, I would actually scroll down a little bit and in the other settings, you can allow them to edit. If we turn this off, it just lets them view. So this is up to if you want them to edit or just view what you're sharing with them. You can set an expiration date so they can only see it for a day, a week, a month. For this example, we're going to set it for a week from now. And then of course, because anyone with this link has the option of viewing it, you can actually set a password. And I strongly recommend if you're using the option of anyone with this link, set a password so that even if this link ends up in the wrong person's hands, there's a password on there. So there's very little chance to be able to guess that and see the content. Cool. So I'm going to set the password here. I'm just going to put a weak password in for now. But now we've actually set it for anyone with this link can edit. They can edit it. This link expires in a week and there is a password protection on there. The password is simply hello and I'm going to hit apply. Next, we're going to have to put in the details of who can actually get this link or who we're going to send this out to. We're going to send this one to say bob at external.com. We're going to say Bob can receive it. And then we can just simply hit the send button and Bob is going to, e going to get an email with this link. And then he can forward that on to other people, even if they're external from your company. And as long as he gives them the password, they can also view that link. Or if we select on the drop down with anyone with this link can edit, let's have a look at what other options there are as well. There is the option of people in Contoso or people in your company with the link can view. So this basically means if you select this option, you can share this in turn with anybody in your organization. They don't need a password because they're part of your organization and they can naturally see what's on the video. You can have people with existing access. So this could be say a team site that has internal and external participants, they could have been in that meeting already and they already had access to these files. So whether they're internal or external, they can still access it as long as they were an existing group within your team, or you can choose specific people. So if you choose specific people and we'll keep the option for allow editing and we go apply, this also allows you to provide the link to internal and external people, but you have to specify who they are. So Bob at external, he's going to get the link, but he's external yet he can still view the content because we've said his email address will have access to the link. And you could give this to say Alex from our team. Alex can also view it, but if Bob or Alex share this with people, whether it's inside or outside of your organization, because only specific people can view it, we've only said Bob and Alex can view this link. So no matter who else gets the link, they can't access it. Cool. So it's pretty simple, but let's just run through a really quick recap. Say we've had the meeting, we've had our recording. 
A really easy way to access it is finding that meeting, opening it up and going into the chat section. And what you'll see is our meeting recording. And from here we can go options, we can go open in OneDrive, and this will take us directly to our OneDrive page. And then from here, we can hit the share option, and this will give us the options of choosing whether anyone with the link can edit, people within our organization, specific people, or people with existing access. You pick the option that's right for you, hit apply and send it off. Or if you wanna see where all of your meeting recordings are saved, you wanna stay in your OneDrive, X out of this, go into my files, you have a folder there called recordings, and this is where you can see all of the recordings that you've made. Cool, and it is that simple. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.